Hi and welcome all. High or low, butcher baker, tall or small. I am Grimnir and this is the Grimnir Gate. Playing Lord of the Rings Online and we are in Angmar, outside the Samoth Baal Guard House. So we are trying to get the key and get into the tower so we can save Lerdan the Elf Lord, whose daughter Narmaleth is possessed by Amathia, the new steward of Angmar. So my boys are waiting here setting up a trap to give this uh, thing that comes out a warm welcome a dwarven warm welcome so let's see what he got oh this guy big boy seen him before though it was in the instance where we saved the palantir maybe yeah the palantir luzudurk yeah Blood bow waiting in the shadows, ready to send off his heart sick. And, of course, traps ready. Oh, put this boy down like a sick animal. Sick troll. Yeah, so now we got the key. Back to the camp then. Oh, about that. I forgot to set the campfire and a milestone in Samotsursa, so we have to go back. Sorry, boys. My fault. This will try the captain's patience, I fear. Hopefully he won't make anything or do anything stupid. Okay, he's had enough. Back to some old trash mob pulling then. And yeah, here we can see the effect of level 3 fearless. Pulling trash mobs is not as easy as it once was. Okay. And uh, I get a little bit stressed here. So I make a stupid mistake. A classic mistake uh, when I dual box, to be honest. I can't stay focused on one mo uh, of my guys. So I start jumping between them, and that's what makes us lose this fight. I might have saved the captain if I stayed with him from the start. Instead, this happens. Yeah. <laughs> well, not my uh, proudest moment. Well, well, what happens in Angmar stays in Angmar. At least I get to use some of my revive skills with the captain. Yeah, so recommended when dual boxing on fearless level 3. Stick with one of your guys and you might have a chance. To not swap between them until you're sure you can save at least one of them. Yeah. And also, fearless actually works. It's harder, it takes more time and effort. Sophister. Oh, I think the captain is making up his own words again. Yeah, this was a mistake. Could have avoided defeat there. Greetings. Let's talk to Quathrin. I 
guess we are now going to look for would you do something for the me the elf lord entering samoth bowl gatehouse yeah how can i be of service if you're sharp eyed you can see that i took a break here because it was night when i started with gotham and now it's daytime again Ain, the questioner left behind at Baratiron reveals that Laerdon had been moved from Anuminus and taken to Samath Baur in Angmar. Time is running short for the Elf Lord. Yeah, he's getting quite uh, experience here, Laerdon. Taking a toll on his soul, I bet. And now we are inside the gatehouse or the tower, Samath Baur. Yeah can't enter it soloing. As I said, I took a break and forgot to fellowship up with my boys. But now we are ready. Summoning our white, or our white beard and uh, you know the drill, right? Buffing up the captain skills. Using the horn of the Dwarf Delph. Get some hope. Hide with Blood Bow. Start with the Heart Seeker and with a little luck. The other guys won't notice this if we one shot him. Good job. Yeah, beautiful shot. Rinse and repeat then, I guess. Or maybe go for Rain of Arrows. I've said this before. But uh, think about this game being quite old and still. I think these animations and this graphic is bringing some magic to to it still. Yeah, that was the rain of arrows. Let's see what the next step will be here. <laughs> oh, Captain is tougher than. Uh, Oh no, he's not that tough. What is this? Captain Neergrim, have you been hiding stuff from us? Okay, so leeches is not your favorite animal then? Interesting. Is this a phobia? Well, well. Let's see how this develops. Oh, another one. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay, another aunt of Nirgrim. He's got a couple of them, I must say. Going up the stairs to the next floor. Another gang of tar pips here. Yeah. Get up, I hear something. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit late for that. Okay. Oh. oh god, he's really reacting to those things. What is the story behind this? Yeah, I'm thinking the same here, Bloodbow. Good of you to ask. Okay. Aha. I've got a feeling where this is going. Yeah. Bloodletting. Actually, a very ancient practice. A couple of thousand years, probably. According to the belief, the body contained four liquids so some physical or psychological illness could be uh, caused by them imbalance in these liquids was the belief a long time ago and up until the middle ages or even later so by letting some blood 
from the body with leeches or with a with an incision you could cure this imbalance in black bile blood and gall and stuff for liquids so they seem to use that among the broad beam clan too i think interesting yeah you don't want to become sick if bloodletting is the only choice to cure it your fears here captain oh yeah and the wise hunter is there again <laughs> even if the captain won't pick it up though all right so second floor or is the third i might have lost track no i think it's the second floor oh another leech oh get uh, braver than phobia treatment in action in Samoth Bow. <laughs> Even if it's got its limits, I think. Yeah, grand old Lich Queen. Okay, this looks like we are very close to the boss here. Uh. Yep, that looks like a boss room, doesn't it? Come on then. What are you waiting for? Take a look. Okay. much help from the minimum oh there's a blood letter and Morven and Lardan oh Lardan is not looking very well is he yeah let's give him a give him a hand it seems you have bested my guards but that is a little concern were you sent here for the elf yep we are <laughs> Classic boss talk. You will tell me all you know before I deliver you to Mafia. Well, let's see who will get delivered and where. Send you back to the Dark Lord, we will. Morven is not looking healthy. You are going down and. Come on. Bloodbo. Evasion on that, I think. Oh my god, that was a good evade from the boss. Let's take care of some straggling enemies here. Yeah. Hello, Lerdan. We're back to take you home. Oh yeah. Maybe he needs some bloodletting. It's liquid, sorry. In unbalanced let's see here will you lend me your aid once more of course we will as long as you pay us gold and gems will you lend me your aid once more you have done deeds whether the truth is taken from the enemy in the folly or whether it's yet another deceit tomorrow you must learn the truth Lerdan has spoken of a place Bara Durgul seek out the Dunadan Guathrin and recover Narquil Narquil okay so while Ner Ner Lerdan is regaining his health, he's been talking in his sleep about this ring and Narchuil. So now we are actually going to try and How get that be service? Bara Turgun. What I take a our hands full time. here, saving Lerdan and now trying to get this ring 
the name Barador be unknown. Uh, no, it could be trap. Gate wards outside the Barador will await thing. Okay. So we need some watching stone orders of course. And I tried to find this inside Corndoom, but I got tired and got back to Oguer and instead tried to find it in Fasad Falroid. You know this uh, Ang Marine town up in the northwest here when you start your first adventures inside Angmar. So we rode in Dunkovad was the name all the way up here and uh, uh, yeah because it seemed easier. I tried really hard to find it inside the cardoon but it was quite a lot of running back and forth. Instead this is easier because you can like just go as far as you can inside and you will enter the gates where they have this gatekeeper gatekeepers and uh, since we've not, we've not been here it was a little bit of a trip and we got to this ramp yeah and here you can see them on top of it gatekeepers <laughs> yeah, the fear is building up here, and I forget to use my horn with the uh, blood bow, so he's building up his fear here while Captain Nirgan is picking these guys up. Oh god! Hey, I can see the eye, Captain. Yeah, here we got them, the orders, uh, back, back to some Sursa then. Now it should be safe with that Baradurgon tower, Baradurgul. What do you need? Stay a moment. Paradurgul awaits. Naruchan. He will send a scout ahead. Seek him out as soon as you enter Paradurgul. Alright. Oh, look at that axe. <coughs> Sorry. Nice reward. Cleaver of Paradurgul. I think we are going to upgrade our cosmetics after this, or even use it as it is. Let's take a look. Uh, no, shoulder guards, no, no, yeah, not worth, oh, these ones though. Oh no, now I have to choose. This was a quite cosmet nice cosmetic look on these ones. At least, uh, Nergrim will take them. Nergrim might settle for the axe. We are dwarves. Baruch is our game, name of the game. All right. <laughs> Irmengard. Oh, another aunt. Okay, so uh, now let's head for Nartril inside Baradurgon then. Another tower in Cardoom. Plagued by terrible dreams in the house of Elrond, Laerdon reveals in his sleep that a Marthiel's ring, not wheel, is being held in the fastness of Barad Durgul. Narhuil. I think I have pronounced it wrong all the time. Well, matters not. As long as we get a hold of it. Okay, boys. I think uh, the ashen wastes are closing in now on us, the last chapters. No mistakes now. 
focus and yep heartbeat heart seeker and rain of arrows you know it's a standard drill nowadays His ears full on the way up here. Angmarin Houndmaster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's oh, the boss. Always a boss guarding the treasures. Golgon. Ah, the other webs have arrived. Join the craven fool who dared trespass. Was that the Longshank? Hmm. Where is he then? Well gone. Come on now, boys. Inspiration is up. This should not be a problem. Ouch. Okay. Oh, I'm getting a bit sloppy here, but uh, it won't be a problem anyway. We will defeat this one. And he's down. All too easy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Trying to wash away the stain of shame from earlier, maybe. Already forgotten about that, I guess. Oh, look at that. No ornate chest inside. Oh, but not only a chest. Who is this? Of course. Yeah. That's him. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting tired of no good rewards here, I think. Half of Marchil. So if Nergrim finds another half, do we got the complete thing then? It's a bit tricky. How can I be of service? Brain ghost. All right, get the axe. Sad day, of course. His brother was killed inside. Might I take a moment of your time? Oh, look at this! Some teal stuff. Uh, oh yeah. Nice, better than the cloak I have at least, or we have. So back to Master Elrond then, get our rewards. Uh, hopefully they will include some riches if uh, Captain Nirgrim gets a wish. Half truth, truth. Dark days Chat. are coming. Oh, Lerdan awoke from his dark dreams. He must be questioned, for surely he has more knowledge. He has studied the ring, Nartril, and Will the deeds of Martyr more closely. More. So, it's going to be a council about a ring here. It's like together, a... ...to determine the fate of Narquil, the ring of Amarthiel, and to question Lerdan concerning his former captain. Hmm, who are these guys? Araneleth and Legbrennen and Arrestor. Glorfindel, Gandalf and Elrond, I know, but these are the three. Might have to look them up later. But now let's listen in to this council. You are among 
friends, Lerdan, and we must know the full account. Very well then, Master Elrond. It was the, before the broken gates of Fornost that I took the ring from Amarthiel. In my haste I broke it upon the anvil of Dringon, mightiest of the forges of the Dúnedain, broken yet not destroyed. Indeed, breaking the ring did not remove the malice crafted into it. I escaped with Narmaleth to Sitad, but still the ring held sway over her. Before she could be cured, she was discovered by the enemy. Mordrith returned her to Karndum, but the house of Narshil remained hidden. How then did the enemy recover this half of the ring? Long were the tortures I endured in Samothbal, but in the end I revealed what they sought. That for long years half of the ring lay hidden in Bar Etachir. Oh, that's where the wood trolls were in Trollshaws. And where now lies the other half of the ring. It was in the keeping of my friend Eril, mighty among the ship captains of Sirdan, Kirdan. Alas, he perished in the rescue of Arvedo. Yeah, that was one of the last uh, kings of the north. The ring half he bore is now lost to icy northern waters. If only I had not broken the ring. Were it still whole, I could turn its power to curing my Narmaleth. Lerdan, my friend, seek not for the ring, Nartril. I cannot see ease your sorrow. You will never see Narmal free of the evil that consumes her. And what do you know of grief? For too long you have sat here in splendor, and it has made you soft. Are you content to watch all of Eriador fall into ruin? I am not. I take upon myself this oath. that I should not find rest or peace until my Narmaleth is returned to me. By the name of Elbereth, I swear it. If Elrond Half-Elven refuses to aid me, I will re rely upon Egnal and Nirgar. That was his weapons, I guess. Lerdan is a guest, not a prisoner. Okay. So that was it then. Still I am filled with unease at his words. I fear this oath will only lead to sorrow. Yeah. The elves have a tradition of bad oath taking. Going all the way back to Feanor. Elrond Half-Elven sent emissaries to Evendim to learn the fate of Laerdan. The search led from Anuminas to Samothbaur and Angmar where well, Lerdan was rescued, and more was learned of the ring Narhuil. Amarthil's forces now march into the frozen wastes of Forhel, where the heroes of the Free Peoples must follow. Okay, heroes of the Free Peoples. That would be Captain Nirgrim and Bowmaster Nirgrim, I guess. That's the next chapter, no, or even... Free. Yeah. Next book, I say. Oh, that uh, is a nice cloak. More might, a little less vitality. Yeah, so next time, new book. Take care, and hope you come back.